Welcome back to your 10th video on jQuery for beginners. In this video, I want to go ahead and talk about our parameters right here after our animate method because I kind of jumped the gun in the last video. I didn't really talk about this, what goes on in here, what the correct syntax is. So let's go ahead and talk about it in this video. Right here, we have some simple CSS. Start from the left, transition to the right, 550 pixels. We can have as much CSS as we want. We can keep adding on. And the way you do it is just by a comma. It's not a semicolon like in most programming languages. So let's change it up a little bit. We'll say, first things first, let's change it from the right. We'll go from the left to the right. And we'll double it in size. So let's go ahead and change it from, what do we have it down here? 100, okay, 100, 100. So let's go ahead and change it to height. 200 pixels. And keep in mind when you, who's that? Uh, keep in mind, um, sorry for the interruption. When you are when you're talking about pixels or an integers, you want to have them in single quotations and not double quotations, or else the jQuery won't output correctly and none of it will work. So have them in single quotations. So let's go ahead and keep adding. Was it our width to it? Width, width, width would be 200 as well. And we'll change the opacity. That'd be pretty cool. Here's my comma, and we'll change our opacity. Um, Opacity is the depth of the color, and obviously when it starts out, it's at 100%, so we'll downgrade it. We'll make it more transparent. Let's change it to, where are you, point, I got this giant microphone in front of my mouth, between my mouth and my keyboard, so I'm kind of looking around and trying to find the right keys. And let's save it. Let's open it up and see what happens. Open with... Safari came from the right and uh, it lost a little opacity. Let's make it a little bit lighter. Let's just give it like 0.1. See how that looks. It's going to look barely like anything. Nothing like a ghost. I like that. But we lost our shape. Let's go ahead and maintain the shape. So let's go ahead and create a border radius of. And it's kind of confusing because there's different ways you go back and forth between different rays because like right down here we use border radius we spelled it out like that but in jQuery we got to go with the camel case so it's a little bit different so the CSS doesn't roll over completely uh, but it's nothing that you know Google search couldn't stop you so let's go ahead and change the board the border to uh, 100 and that should work single quotations 100 pixels and let's close that out and let's bring this back a little bit. We'll bring it back to 50% opacity. So keep in mind, in our, in our parameters right here, all we have is CSS properties with a little bit of CSS3 right here. Border radius, opacity, CSS3, height, width, right, regular CSS. Let's see if this works. There it is. Okay, so it's about 50% opacity and we maintained our border radius to have our perfect circle. All right, guys, hopefully this made sense and answered your questions about what goes in here. And uh, good luck with this. I'll see you guys in the next video.